Hi everyone, my name is Peter from White Raven Productions and today we're talking photography. Yes, you heard it right. Photography and in more specific terms, uh, tethering. Tethering means that we can connect our camera to our computer. So with Canon and Apple not really working together anymore. So if you're on a Mac, the free software that Canon offers isn't an option. Uh, and that's where Lightroom comes in. Many of you photographers probably already use Adobe Suite to edit your photos and videos. So tethering, the tethering function of Lightroom Classic is also part of that included package. And I use a MacBook One because it actually requires you to take a few extra steps. So now everyone that uses an M1 Mac knows how to do this. All right, so of course, you're gonna need a couple of things. <laughs> uh, you're gonna need, uh, in my case, I'm using the EOS R, so it's gonna be a Tether Tools USB-C to USB-C cable for connecting my camera to my laptop. And this is a, like I said, M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch. So uh, as you can see, I have fired up Lightroom. You can see that it's a Lightroom Classic. Now let's start the tethering process. So if you connect the cable to the camera like this and then to the MacBook, it will actually go into import mode. And that is of course not what we want. So first we go into Lightroom. Here we go. You go to a file and then start tethered capture. Now what it's gonna say, and that is why I'm doing this on a MacBook One, uh, on a MacBook M1 is it's gonna say that the capture is currently uh, available only through Rosetta. So you gotta relaunch the uh, program. So yes, let's do that. And like you see, it's relaunched and now it says right here, Rosetta emulation mode on. Now, if we plug in the cable, It's gonna do nothing <laughs> and that's the trick you gotta go to tethered capture once again and now you can actually say all right let's um, say session name so for example I'm gonna call this YouTube sesh with an H there you go <laughs> and then you're gonna say uh, template and that's fine I'm gonna do um, the custom name and now it's gonna say Peter test. So it's gonna do all the numbers. All right, now you can choose a selection. So let's say new folder and say YouTube sesh, choose. And now you can say done. It's gonna detect camera. And like you can see, I'm gonna remove the cap and we're gonna take a picture all right and now we have set up everything so you can see right here it says Canon EOS R on YouTube sesh I have enabled the camera and I've pointed it towards the camera that's filming right now so if I press this button I can actually take a picture there you go <laughs> and if you want to see it in the, on the full screen, you can do this one. And that is the, it's called like right here, secondary display. And then that's for example, for when a client is watching you, you can just grab the camera and I'm going to show you that right now. So I'm going to light this, this one up a little bit more. I'm going to take a picture. And there you go, it will end up on the screen and that's pretty damn cool. So it's not that difficult, it's actually quite easy, but you have to follow these step, uh, steps very carefully. I first started using this setup because it was the only option I had, but I quickly realized that it, uh, using Lightroom actually offers you more than just the tethered connection. And because it's directly in Lightroom, your workflow is also more streamlined and everything is already set up to go when you want to start your editing process. Also, you can edit the photos live on the go, which is really convenient when you work uh, a lot in the studio, for example. 
And lastly, if you set the locations for the photos correctly, you don't have to back up any SD cards anymore because you already do that on an SSD, for example. I hope you give Lightroom a try and let me know in the comment section uh, of this video if this video was any help to you. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this and I hope to see you in the next one.